The entire cryptocurrency market woke up to some pretty good news today. Well, actually, depending on where you live, either it happened while you were awake or you were waking up to some very good news with Bitcoin. I can't say thriving past, but really testing with strength that $30,000 per coin number and a lot of the other cryptocurrencies up in value as well. Now, I'm going to be discussing why in this video. And yes, it is on some speculation. It's not on anything that's guaranteed but at least it's on some sort of news. Because if you only read one side, you've got, I gotta be very nice, you've got people, that's as nice as I can get with it, you've got people like Elizabeth Warren, and all of the headlines surrounding her saying that cryptocurrency is only used to fund illegal activities overseas, the, the destruction that's going on over there. You gotta be careful with what you say on YouTube, right? And, and then beyond that, we finally have some good news surrounding a Bitcoin ETF. So let's discuss that breakdown. Let's look at these headlines. And of course, if it sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. Let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2023 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a pro. We are here every single day. and We are growing our portfolios together. Now, look, if you guys are brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy stocks and crypto, you got a link in the description below for Weeble. It is super simple to set up your account. Any deposit, you guys are getting at least six free stocks, up to 12 free stocks, and you're earning 5% on your cash balances. Don't have to buy a single share of anything, and you're getting that 5%. If you guys want cryptocurrency exclusive exchanges where you can buy, sell, trade, short, leverage, all that good stuff, you get KuCoin and Binance down there. Now, KuCoin and Binance, they offer rewards for the more active traders, so the more you trade, the more you're going to earn, but please be aware if you're holding on those exchanges, it is going to be considered a loan to those exchanges, so if you want to mitigate that risk and make it your asset, you need to look at a cold storage or DeFi wallet. Finally, look, I'm not going to spend much time on Elizabeth Warren because I don't think she deserves the time spent on her. I don't even think she deserves the headlines that are written about her and the things that she's saying. Guys, it, it, anybody in the in the right state of mind that believes that illegal transactions, funding illegal activities that take place in cryptocurrency is is anything short of illegal. We already know that it is. It's not side-skirting the monetary system or anything like she, she claims to be. People, if, if she's concerned about millions of dollars flowing into the wrong hands, why is she not raising concerns about the hundreds of billions of dollars in actual cash and actual U.S. dollars that are flowing into the same hands? It's it's the most hypocritical thing that I have ever seen, and really, shame on that lady for, for being... S Coinbase is confident a U.S. Bitcoin ETF will be approved after the SEC's court defeat. Now, this is the good news that everybody's waking up to this morning, and what's driving uh, the prices of Shiba Inu coin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, uh, XRP's got some news of its own, but XRP in this as well, driving these prices higher. With Bitcoin testing 30,000 really showing strength, yes, it's pulling back, but I do believe on actual approval of this ETF, we're going to be seeing Bitcoin shooting through these levels, and, and you're going to be missing out if you're not in it. It says, Coinbase is confident that a U.S. Bitcoin exchange traded fund or ETF will be approved by the Securities and Exchange Commission, the company's chief legal officer, Paul Grewal, told CNBC. He didn't say when that's likely to happen and added the caveat, 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 my goodness, what is, I can't say it, the caveat that any decision would ultimately be up to the SEC. Well, clearly it is. But Paul did say that it's likely now that the SEC will approve a Bitcoin ETF soon, highlighting the regulator's failure in court to block Grayscale from converting the, the Grayscale Bitcoin fund into an ETF. See, he says, I'm quite hopeful that these ETF applications will be granted, if only because they should be granted under the law, Gruwal said in an interview with CNBC. He, he says, I think that the firms have stepped forward with robust proposals for these products and services are among some of the biggest blue chips in the financial services industry. Guys, we're talking about, uh, we're talking about Grayscale, right? Huge one. We're talking about BlackRock. 
We're talking about there's it, there's so many more. I mean, uh, Franklin Franklin Templeton is another one. You've got so many investment firms out there wanting to start Bitcoin ETFs. Why? Because they know that they can make some money off of it. It's not for you and I. To have access to it. It's not for us to make the money off of it. It's because they see the need. They see the industry. They see the growth. Guys, if they make these ETFs available and they get trillions of dollars flowing into them, think about that. Because if they do get trillions of dollars flowing into them, Bitcoin is going to be facing multiple trillions of dollars in valuation. And the overall cryptocurrency market is going to be thriving. If they get trillions of dollars in... in assets under management just in these ETFs and they're charging their one to three percent fees to maintain those ETFs out there they are making billions if not tens of billions or potentially one day hundreds of billions of dollars across all of the ETFs that would include altcoins as well in the crypto industry it is so that they can make money they will be here for that money and they will not stop until they get that opportunity. So, guys, it is going to be a process. But I do believe, I agree with Paul Grohl here. I believe we will see these ETFs approved. He says, so, so that, I think, suggests that we will see progress there in short order. Now, he didn't say when that's likely to happen and added the caveat about the SEC. But Grohl said, it's likely now that the SEC will approve a Bitcoin ETF soon. Highlighting the regulator's failure in court to block the grayscale or block grayscale from converting its Bitcoin fund into an ETF. He said, I think that after the U.S. Court of Appeals made clear that the SEC could not reject these applications on arbitrary and capricious basis, we're going to see commissions, the commissions fulfill its responsibilities. I'm quite confident of that. Now, I am as well. Okay. Well, what I believe the SEC is trying to do here is, is essentially make way for the institutions to get involved, bleed out the retail investors who cannot survive this bear market and give themselves the best chances at owning a trillion or multi-trillion dollar industry. Now, they own it because they control it. And with that being said, guys, it, it is, it's only a matter of time before we see this. I am in agreement with Paul Grewal here. It's only a matter of time before we see this Bitcoin ETF approved and Bitcoin soaring back to potentially all-time highs once again. Like he said, he doesn't know the time frame and neither do I, but what I do know is that when there's money or yeah, when there's money to be made, these institutions, these lawyers, these regulators, they come flocking. So I want to know what you guys think. Down in the comments below, do you think a Bitcoin ETF will be approved? And of course, if that button right there is still red, make sure to click it. Subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day. and We are growing our portfolios together. You guys got Claybro 883 everywhere. 6 to 12 free stocks on Weeble, KuCoin, and Binance Free Discord. And until the next time, hope each and every one of you have an awesome day. Let's get started.